Hi guys and welcome back, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make these red velvet eyeball cookies, let's begin. To get started on the recipe you want to grab yourself a large mixing bowl and place in your room temperature butter followed by your light brown sugar and your granulated white sugar. Then mix everything together until it's much lighter and fluffier in colour and consistency. You're not looking for, for the same as in a cake mixture but just well combined and you know lighter. Then you can go ahead and add in your egg and vanilla and mix these in until they are fully incorporated being careful not to miss any bits or just try to incorporate as much as you possibly can now then go ahead and add in your red food coloring and your cocoa powder and mix these in until they are fully incorporated you'll notice once these are incorporated as the mixture will become a much brighter red which is what you're looking for it should be red velvet colored then you can go ahead and add in your flour, raisin agents and your chocolate chips. Then mix these in or fold these in until the, you have a dough that forms. Once the dough has formed, stop mixing as you don't want to over mix the dough. You can then give the bowl a good scraping down and this is just to incorporate any bits that may not have been fully worked in from earlier on. Then scoop up your dough. I'm using one large scoop per cookie and then rounding it up in my hands and just getting it as round as possible and then placing it onto a baking tray but make sure you flatten it a little bit on the bottom so where it's going to sit on the tray and then you can just flatten them down just a little bit and this will help them bake and spread once they're fresh out of the oven you'll want to go ahead and finish them off and I'm just adding some more chocolate chips on just as pure decoration you do, do not have to do this part if you really don't want to but I just thought why not have more white chocolate because you can and then the other way I'm finishing these off is by using these gummy candy eyeballs and feel free to skip these I put them on when they was hot and these eyeballs did melt and it added a bit more of a Halloween effect but feel free to not do this if you don't want to as I understand that it might not be what you want but also it kind of looks a little bit gross and gory when they melt but hey it works really well for Halloween So thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more from me and i'll be back again soon with another recipe so join me then in the meanwhile don't forget to check out the description i'll be linked to this recipe a link to my blog and links to all my social medias but that's all for today i hope you enjoyed bye guys